Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we've got a load of updates and developments to go over in the Jessica Yaniv story. So let's do a quick recap and then get right into it. Jessica Yaniv, or who many are calling the new ma'am, well, she came into the spotlight again this past week for more lewd and inappropriate behavior. Shocking. Previously, we discussed this character's last breaking story a few weeks back when Jessica got caught trolling around calling her local waxing salons, seeing if she could get them to give her male parts a fee female Brazilian wax treatment. And, well, needless to say, this did not go over too well. Instead of getting the resounding and unquestioned social justice warrior support Jessica was expecting, Yaniv instead really just managed to make herself look terrible. And it also turned her into a meme. And now we call her ma'am and she just looks like a creepy opportunist grifter. Next, another YouTuber, Blair White, gets involved in this situation. First, she made a video exposing Jessica amid this whole recent controversy a few weeks back. That video of Blair blew up and resulted in Blair White actually contacting and engaging with Jessica online, mostly via Twitter squabbling from what I could tell. But this initial contact did lead to a lot more eventually. Next, Blair and Jessica set up their own live stream debate, which happened on August 5th as you can see by this Twitter announcement. And this is why my video is called The Ma'am Showdown. I wasn't kidding when I said that. This was literally Jessica Yanni versus Blair White, Ma'am v Ma'am, and also a bit of a USA versus Canada as well. Blair White being the American, of course, and Jessica Yaniv being a syrup-sipping Canadian. And this ma'am showdown or debate was pretty interesting to say the least. Here's a quick clip of that stream so you can see what I'm talking about. So I want to get to the sort of impact that you and your media presence have yep. on the trans community. Because I was actually quite horrified when your story broke because I saw a lot of people, whether it was on social media, whether they're commentators, YouTube videos, mm -hmm. Honestly, like, hold on, hold on. let me finish, please. Why would I have this if I didn't need to use it? Yeah, with that little bit there, I think you could see the kind of dynamic that was going on in this show. First, there's Blair, who's doing a pretty good job. She's trying to have a real discussion about legit issues on a pretty well set up live show. The problem is, her guest, Jessica Yaniv, is a complete joke. She's barely dressed up, looking like she just rolled out of bed, and to make matters worse, she just keeps doing dumb, unrelated stuff, like holding up a woman's period pad. What the heck? And this behavior is a running theme in this stream, too, in this so called debate. Blair tries to set something Something up trying to make a point and then Jessica holds up something else stupid like her medical prescription papers. It just looks random and seemingly out of nowhere and it's like she thinks she's some kind of prop comic or something. Listen Jess, you're no Gallagher honey and this ain't the Carrot Top show in Las Vegas either. Blair White here is trying to have a real debate with you about serious issues that your behavior is making worse. The main point being of course that people like Jessica Yaniv are bad for the trans and LGBTQ communities. She makes them look crazy like opportunistic, creepy grifters, and also deranged in addition. So with that said, Blair White has every right to call Jessica out here. And it's just so sad that Yaniv's most interesting responses are her waving around props like she's a clown at a carnival. And it keeps going from there. The next prop that Jessica uses actually takes things to a whole new level. Later on, while the mams are talking about protection and self-defense, Jessica decides to walk away from the camera into the other room, leaving Blair alone in the stream so Jess could have a moment to get one last prop. Here, Yaniv comes back with a taser, an electric self-defense weapon, which she promptly sparks up on camera. Jess even has the balls to brag about this thing being illegal. It's illegal to have where she is currently in Canada. And then after stating this, Jessica makes a smug, wannabe cute face, which Blair promptly calls out. Let's go ahead and look at another clip of the tail end of this part, so we can all absorb this cringe together. Which is illegal in Canada, just saying. But... Do you think that was like cute? Was that a moment for you? No, that wasn't a moment for me. But what I'm going to say here is it's real. The hate is real and the bombs is real. You cannot tell me, Blair. Thank you, injection. Then at the end there, there's even an Amazon Alexa alert telling Jessica to take her hormone injections in the background. You really can't make this kind of weird shit up. It's just so stupid on Jessica's part. She's admitting to a crime here and showing evidence of the crime on camera for the whole world to see. So it really should be no surprise at all what happens in the next part of this ma'am saga. Two big developments happened following this official ma'am showdown. First of all, as expected, police went to Jessica's house shortly after it. They had gotten wind of her illegal activity from the stream 
and naturally decided to check things out. This article has more details. It says, according to the National Post, after the Monday afternoon Blair White live stream in which the prohibited weapon was brandished, Yaniv was arrested and brought to an RCMP holding cell. Yaniv was released Tuesday morning. Two stun guns, pepper spray, and bear spray were seized from Yaniv's apartment. The Post Millennial has confirmed speculation that the Walnut Grove home of Jessica Yaniv was raided by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police last night. The raid follows Yaniv's explosive live appearance on Blair White's YouTube channel, brandishing and demonstrating the functionality of a taser at one point in the debate and claiming to be fully aware of its illegality. Yaniv also claimed to possess pepper spray. Yaniv's discussion of the weapons followed a lengthy racist rant disparaging the East Indian and immigrant communities of British Columbia, asserting, we have messed up people who migrate here, who think they can do whatever they want. Ouch. Not a good look for Jessica Y. Arrested, raided, probably getting charged and fined for those illegal self-defense items? What a goddamn shit show this thing has turned into. And, believe it or not, we're only getting started here. Next, Blair White announces on Twitter that the stream with Yaniv resulted in her getting doxxed. Wow. Blair White's doxxed over streaming with this nut bar. Here's a tweet where she announces it. It says, I got doxxed. Address and number. I'm actually scared. Gonna take a break from the internet for a while. Wow. That's pretty scary. And I truly hope everything is okay for her. But, I got a sneaking suspicion this is not just a coincidence. Streaming with shady people like Jessica Y leads to shady things happening in your own home and around you. So not only is Jessica getting herself arrested, but Blair White is getting doxxed in the process and possibly losing her privacy or worse, all for just associating with Jess on the internet for a couple hours in one stream on one day. And actually, come to find out, Jessica Yaniv was more involved in Blair's doxing than we even thought. In a follow-up tweet, Blair says, Jessica Yaniv admitted on the phone last night that they doxed my address and obtained it illegally. I recorded the call. I will be calling the police today. I want this pig arrested. Ouch. Things just keep getting worse in Jessica Yaniv's crazy town. Now she is actually directly implicated in not only finding Blair's private information illegally, but also Jessica shared it maliciously and put it out in the live chat, I believe, during that stream, the ma'am showdown. You know, the stream we went over where Jessica could barely pay attention and converse properly. So it makes sense that she would want to dox Blair then since the stream was making Jess look hella bad. She did it out of vengeance. Or perhaps she even thought that the stream would get deleted or hidden if it had Blair's docs within it. Either way, this is yet another violation and possible criminal act under Jessica's belt. And you know what they usually call people like this? Who have no regard for anyone else and no respect for social norms or written laws of the land? Well, they call people like Jessica sociopaths or possibly a psychopath. Take your pick. It's really looking more and more like this crazy ma'am, Jessica Yaniv, is even even more dangerous and deviant than we ever could have imagined. Oh, and in case you had any doubts about Jessica's craziness, here's a clip of Blair trying to talk to Jess on the phone about doxing her. In it, it appears that Jessica pretends to be her own agent as a way to shield herself or make her look important or something. Check this clip out. I would love if we could convene at 3.50 p.m. You got it. Three-way call. And you're going to be on the line, right, Jessica? Or Yeah, I'm here. I'm here and I will be on the call. Wait, are you guys the same person? Can you speak at once? No, we're not the same person. <laughs> I, I don't believe that I sound anything like Jessica, but I... Pretty weird, huh? But what should we really expect from Jessica at this point? She's a dude pretending to be a chick who gets a period, while also asking salons to wax her still very male private parts. Then she did prop comedy on what was supposed to be a serious live stream about her own negative effects on the trans LGBTQ communities. Next, Jessica got arrested, lost her illegal self-defense items, and finally, she's possibly pretending to be her own agent while denying that she docks Blair on a live stream. I really couldn't make up a more crazy SJW Canadian Canadian-like story if I tried my best. Finally, before we go, Blair has announced that today, Monday, as of writing this video, she will be releasing one more final video about Jessica. And I have to admit, I'm really excited to see where this goes. Could it be Jessica turning into a trans animal now? Pretending she's a mountain lion or a goat or something? Or maybe Jess is demanding that a doctor give her pregnancy pills or birth control or medication or surgery for a woman. I don't know, but basically anything is possible with this nut job at this point. So let's go ahead and check out a few clips from Blair's new latest video and see where this story goes. The video is called, I Got Jessica Yaniv to Confess on Tape. This should be good. Let's go ahead and check it out. But the act of doxing is publishing it with the intent of like people seeing it. And that's what you did to me, right? Yeah. Right, so you doxed me. And I feel, and I, and Blair, I do feel really bad about it. You know, what, what, what I do want to say is, you know, I have had severe, severe, 
medical issues. Not surprising, really. We all could tell Jessica had issues from the start. And having issues does suck, but it's really hard to feel bad for Yaniv at this point. I mean, come on. It's not like this is a one-time thing. She has acted a fool, been inappropriate, and done illegal things time and time again. So, while I don't know if she necessarily deserves to be locked up yet, but we are getting pretty damn close to that. Also, this whole playing the victim card is hard. It's hard for her. It's hard to pull off since Jessica is the one victimizing Blair and many others. Not only has Blair White's private information been exposed, but also Jessica's online antics have caused many others harm too, causing them discomfort, loss of livelihoods, and more. Remember, this whole new ma'am saga started when Jessica got a women's spa shut down. So that's a business with owners and employees that are now out of work. And Jessica Yaniv shut them down because she wanted attention and wanted to get victim points and ass pats from the largely social justice warrior influenced public in Canada, a regressive liberal bunch that has growing numbers in the United States too. Now that is just the doxing. And needless to say, my life has been a bit of a whirlwind since the doxing. I've had to, you know, put in place a bunch of security measures. No one's allowed up to my apartment right now. Actually, as of last night, someone showed up to my apartment complex, spoke to security in the front, claimed to know me and was so persistent that they were a friend that was coming to visit me that security called me. That's pretty damn scary. Living in Hollywood is shady enough. Now Blair has to watch out for weirdo SJWs or whoever. God knows who would want to run down and go up to a YouTuber's house over internet drama. But those kinds of people that would do something so crazy, much like Jessica Yaniv, well, they're some of the most dangerous ones out there and you really gotta look out for them. In the end, it looks like the ma'am showdown is officially over. And obviously Blair White and Team USA won this one in a landslide. Blair not only got Jess onto a live show and promptly called out her shitty behavior on it, but also the drama surrounding the show resulted in Jessica getting a bit of a reality check when the police arrested her and raided her home. Unfortunately, there were some casualties on our side too as Blair White did get doxxed and is going to have to look over her shoulder for a good long while now. But hey, at least the right side won this one in the end and Blair, she's getting millions of views off this saga and thousands of subscribers and loads of ad revenue too. All because she won the first annual Ma'am Showdown. What do you guys think? Is Jessica Yaniv the worst? Did you ever think this story would go this far and have this many twists and turns? And what do you think about Blair White getting doxxed because of all this? Comment your thoughts on everything below and thanks for watching No Bullshit. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time.